How to turn your spindle on. Very simple. All we have to do is go into our MDI mode. So I'm going to go handle jog and then into my MDI mode. If you hit MDI on some machines more than once, it alarms out. So what I like to do is go out of the mode and then back into it. And then all you have to do is type M3, which stands for clockwise, and then S for spindle, and then pick your spindle speed. So I like to run my edge finder at 1400. So in order to have a spindle speed going 1400, it will be M3S 1400. M is a M code, which is a miscellaneous code. And we are going to have classes on M code and G code, so be sure to watch those classes. But in order to type this coding into the machine, you have to be in MDI DNC mode. Once you type that in, all you have to do is hit start and it turns your spindle on. If you hit reset, it will stop the spindle. And you want to be sure that your spindle is at a 100%. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to like 150. And I'm going to zoom in on it being 150 so that you understand what I'm talking about. So the spindle is at 150%. This could be very bad, meaning that if you have your edge finder in there and you type 1400 and your spindle is at, let's bump it up even more, 260%, when you hit start, that is going to mess your uh, edge finder up because it's, the spindle's going so fast. So down on the overrides, you put your spindle at 100% and before you hit start with your M code, make sure that you are at 100% so that you go 100% of the spindle speed that you typed in. So again, M3S and then type your spindle speed and hit right. And that will get you to where you need to be.